Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, I do lots of diamond painting videos here and would love to have you subscribe. Today I am here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you guys. This is part of something that is a brand new and exclusive release that they are doing with QBC, which is gonna be happening tomorrow, which is Tuesday, April 16th. And I believe it's gonna go live at um, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern time. And what they're doing is they're offering three different themed and exclusive bundles to QVC that are going to launch, including this one, which is the animal themed bundle. They're also going to have a floral and a landscape bundle. And Diamond Art Club has hinted on their social media that these might be available at a really amazing deal. If you order these from the QVC release, they'll actually come to you kind of shrink wrap together. I think it's going to be different than how Diamond Art Club kits typically ship from their warehouse, um, but they'll just, yeah, they'll be available just as bundles, not as individual kits. But I have these two kits to share with you so you can decide if you want to hop on QVC. I think there's a QVC app, but I don't know exactly all the ins and outs of how it's going to be available. I just know that um, that actual announcement is going to be happening at noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific with Pat James to and the co-founder of Diamond Art Club, Angie. So that'll be really fun to tune in on. It's something different that I don't think we've seen before. So I'm excited to see how this all goes. Anyway, the two kits I have for you to share with you today are Fairy Bunny by Rita Konya. And I've actually seen this one completed before and it is so, so, so cute, you guys. And then also Mr. Pe Peacock by Lola Gonzalez. And look at those colors. Both of these are on the smaller side. Um, the bunny is 32.8 by 40.6 centimeters and the peacock is 32.8 by 42.6 centimeters. Super similar. They both have round diamonds. Again, these are really beginner friendly kits. You're going to see that as we open up these boxes and I show you the canvases and everything that's included. So the good news is that everything about these kits is going to be really what you've come to know and love about Diamond Art Club and their quality. Um, their boxes and everything will be the same. It's just how it's packaged and shipped that'll be different, plus that price point for the bundle. So uh, this is going to have round diamonds. They use some pink branding with that. And then on the back, there's some information about how to diamond paint, um, as well as your kit contents. And there is a QR code you can use for a discount on the Diamond Art Club website. However, I really hate to sound like just a complete and total broken record, but these bundles and what I'm sharing with you today are going to be exclusively available through QVC. And I'm sure if I had to guess, those price points are gonna be better than any discount code you'd find yourself using um, from what's available on you know the boxes uh, and, and whatnot. So um, yeah, just wanna make sure I'm not confusing anyone. But if you want to try and go pick up any of these kits individually, or if, you see, if you're seeing this unboxing, after the release has, you know, ended, that that launch with QVC has ended, like I said, I believe these are available on the Amazon storefront um, in the U.S. for Diamond Art Club. You are going to get, um, in this case, I'm guessing this will be in the QVC bundles as well, a warranty card where you can register your kit and still get access to that Diamond Art Club warranty and guarantee. You're going to get a toolkit as well that's going to have everything you need to do your diamond painting. Let me show you real quick what's included. So you're going to get a pen and a squishy. The color on those will vary. And you'll also get some um, thin plastic multi-placers. There's a four and a seven placer that you can pop into the end of your pen if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then we've also got some wax to use in our pen. And there is a thin plastic film there. You can kinda of see it shining. You wanna peel that back before you try to load up your pen. And we also have a bag of baggies. You can store your diamonds in these if you like. And then we have a tray, which uh, this is actually, this bit is a tray stopper. You can pop it in the end and that'll help stop the diamonds from sliding out of your tray while you're working. 
This is a roll of washi tape and I have a video below that'll kind of demo the ways that I use washi tape when it comes to diamond painting. And there are different prints of washi tape and you don't really know which one you're going to get, but that's the one that came with this kit. And then we have a cover minder, which it looks like the magnets came off of this one that happens sometimes. They are ultimately gonna be phasing out cover minders um, because of that. But you guys, this is actually a really incredibly simple fix. You can just take some super glue, some E6000, some crafting glue, and just put that right on the back and it will fix it very simply and easily. Um, but there's magnets so you can use this to help hold back the cover on your diamond painting while you're working. So that is your toolkit. Like I said, I feel like it's pretty comprehensive, especially for a beginner if you don't have any of these tools. That is definitely a solid, solid place to start. Diamond Art Club also includes this smaller sticker, which I like to use in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork and some of the information about the kit as well. And then everything else is gonna be included in here in this plastic bag or dust cover. Super soft backing on Diamond Art Club's canvases. And as you unroll it, look at the cute bunny. Oh my goodness. So, 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 so cute. Um, let me roll this backwards to help it lay flat a little bit more easily. And there we go. These smaller kits, sometimes they don't immediately want to lay flat because they're in those little boxes, but no harm done, you guys. We're totally, it, it will lay flat. Um, I have worked on some of these smaller kits and it does, it, it will lay flat. So um, you are going to have included this pamphlet that does have some helpful info in it. There is what's included in your kit a uh, beginner video, which I'll also have a diamond painting for beginner vi beginners video linked below. Here's their VIP Facebook group, which you can join once you've made your first purchase. And then some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you. There's also some tips and tricks written out here and a discount code you can use on the website for next time. And QR codes for the mobile app, which you do get 20% off your first purchase through the app. So there's discount codes everywhere. But again, I think that whatever QVC special they're running is gonna probably be better. And I don't think you're gonna be able to use any of these discount codes on the QVC website anyway. So anyway, there is a larger sticker sheet here with the title Fairy Bunny by Rita Konya and a spot to write your start and end date. Here's a better look at the original illustration. Aria illustration is you know, Rita Konya's, um, I think, art artwork kind of uh, name. So you might see it as either, you know, either one of those names credited for her. Here's some stats on the kit again. And then on um, this side, there are a set of pre-cut sticker labels. Um, I really like these. I think they're very handy, especially because like I said, they are pre-cut for you. And so that makes the process of kitting up go that much more quickly. The color codes you see over here in the right hand column, these come from the DMC color code system from the DMC brand of Floss. Most diamond painting companies use this color code system. With Diamond Art Club though, there's uh, a couple of exceptions. And in this case, I think there's just one I'm going to be pointing out. So Diamond Art Club's numbering system, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. And in this kit, we're going to have three AB colors. Um, and sometimes in other kits, you'll see other special drills with codes here at the end of the color list. But in this kit, it looks like we just have those three ABs. So let me take you on a little tour of the canvas itself so you can see some of the features. Uh, here's their branding at the top, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are finished and poked, so you shouldn't have to worry about any fraying. And then they use um, a clear plastic cover with poured glue that is very sticky. And this is the older plastic cover. This is not the newer perforated plastic cover, but I actually really like this plastic cover still and think that it is very, very easy to work with. Um, we have the color list, the legend over here at the top left, as well as down here at the bottom right, which on a snack size kit, it is really handy to be able to just look at and refer to those. And then there is a thumbnail down here at the bottom left, along with the title and the stats and copyright. So one thing I haven't mentioned in this video yet is that all of Diamond Art Club's kits are legally licensed from the artist. That means that Rita Konya, aka Aria Illustrations, has both given permission for the use of her artwork and is being fairly compensated for it as well. This is the case with all the Diamond Art Club's kits, including the ones in this QVC release. 
Here are their socials and yet another discount code and some information about their lifetime warranty. Like I said, I believe that your kits should come with that uh, insert where you can register your kit and then it'll get that lifetime warranty and guarantee. And that includes if you run out of any diamonds or have any trouble with your kit, you can contact their customer support. I think all the details of that warranty are on the website. The printing on the canvas is really clear and this kit looks to have a good amount of what we call color blocking. Color blocking is where you have a lot of the same color in a small area like here. So if you like, you can use multi-placer. You'll have that color in your tray for a little more often. Um, and those areas like this too tend to go a little bit more quickly because of that. There are some areas though that do have some confetti, like on the bunny's nose, I feel like there's a bit of it. Confetti is where you have more color changes in a small area and maybe have more single placing or dots. Sometimes it literally looks like confetti and sometimes those areas take a little bit longer to complete. However, the upside is that you get some nice detail with that confetti and often some really nice color blending as well. But uh, as with most of Diamond Art Club's beginner kits, uh, this does appear to have a good amount of, of um, color blocking. Now, here's another trick I also meant to show you for how to help your canvas lay flat, is you could peel back the plastic cover about halfway each direction, I would say. And then as you lay it back down, you'll notice that really is helping it lay flat quite a bit more easily. And the reason I only pull it halfway each direction is because if you peel the plastic cover all the way off, it's just a really big pain to try to put back on. So there, that really, that really did it. So just if you didn't know, now you know. And I know, you can kind of see it looks like visual, um, visible wrinkles in here and that is just where the cover had shifted and maybe the glue had shifted um, just aesthetically where it was wrapped tightly in that small box i promise that is going to lay flat and you're not going to see wrinkles when you are um once you have diamonds down in those areas so let me measure it just to see if we're true to size typically we are with diamond art clothes canvases but i do always like to double check just because um it's nice to be totally sure. And yes, this is measuring true to size. Now let's take a look at these diamonds, which are in this pack here. There is a sticker on here that tells you what kit these go with, just in case, you know, you store these separate from the canvas and not in the box they came in. And let's, let's yeah, let's take a look. There was one little straggler pack not attached. <laughs> okay. So there is our color spread, lots of pinks and purples. This color scheme is, I, I love this. This is very much my style. Uh, here's this one little straggler pack, 327. And then otherwise these are mostly gonna be connected. So the DMC code is printed on these heat sealed bags. We'll have to cut these open. You can use those Ziploc baggies that came with the kit to store the diamonds in if you like, or you can use another kind of diamond storage system that's more structured, whatever works for you. Here's our first special drill color. This is 141. This is an AB diamond. Do you see that amazing iridescent coating that is a lot extra compared to the standards, just sparkly diamond. Uh, this one has an iridescent coating on the top that is really gonna draw your eye to it. These get their name from the Northern Lights, AB Aurora Borealis, um, and these are amazing. I already saw on the kit where some of these are going to go, like in the bunny's whiskers, but we will go through the kit, the canvas together after we've looked at all the diamonds and I'll point out where our special draw colors are going to go. So stay tuned for that. Um, Diamond Art Club does make all of their diamonds in house, both their round and square drills. And that lets them really have like full quality control and make improvements as they want to. And I find that their round diamonds are actually very, very twinkly, very faceted and sparkly, and have a really, really sparkly and pretty effect once they're on the canvas in particular. If you run into, I'm noticing some static in these bags where you can kind of see the diamonds clinging to the sides of the bags. Um, static is a highly climate dependent thing. I live in a area where I feel like my diamonds end up very static prone. It's very dry. Um, so if you do find yourself running into static, I recommend cutting up a dryer sheet into small squares and tucking some of those squares into these bags and kind of shaking it around. That'll help get rid of the static and even keep those um, dryer sheet squares in your containers, whatever you transfer these into as well. And that'll really help a lot. 113 is our next AB color. There's a little straggler diamond in there. This one's kind of a bubblegum pink. 113. And then these colors that we just have the smallest amounts of. So this will probably help with some of those confetti areas. 
Uh, 100, this is our last day bean. It's just a light kind of pastel green color. Just the smallest amount of that. I wonder if that'll be in the plants, the flowers in her flower crown. I bet they will be. So there's all 41 of our colors and we had the white AB and the pink AB and the green AB. So finding the white AB first, cause it, there's the most of it. Uh, the front of the bunny here, this whole chunk of white is white AB. All of the bunny is whiskers are ABs. I love it. Then the profile, the bunny right here has some white ABs as well. There's a white outline around parts of these flowers, a lot of these flowers, or this flower up here. And then over here, the white there is white AB as well. And then the dots of white in the background, those are all white ABs, little magic motes as I call them sometimes. There's some of the white dots here that are white ABs. And then actually down here on the bunny's back, there's that lightest, you see the white in there, that's white AB as well. Um, and then the bubblegum pink AB is doing some highlighting in the flowers. It's probably kind of the lightest pink that you're seeing in camera. There's pink ABs in each of the flowers and here, and then the green AB, the light pastel green, yes, is the, these light green leaves here and here, and then the outline right here is light green AB. So really pretty special drill placement. I love the white ABs that are just really gonna give this that extra sparkle. This is absolutely adorable, you guys. This is Fairy Bunny by Rita Konya, aka Aria Illustrations, and is the first of two kits that are going to be in the animal bundle. So I'm going to move this off to the side and pack it back up, and I'm going to get the other kit, the Peacock kit, to show to you um, as well. So I'll be right back. All right, so here we have just as a quick refresher. This is Mr. Peacock by Lola Gonzalez. This is going to be really similar in a lot of ways to Fairy Bunny. It's going to have round diamonds. Here's the size again. And this artwork, I am really curious to see this one because I don't know that I, I don't know that I've seen this one completed. And I think that the colors have got to be just fantastic. So um, a lot of the features are going to be really similar, like I said, to the last kit, um, including features on the box itself, which includes the pink branding you see here, the instructions about how to diamond paint and your kit contents. And um, I will still show you the toolkit and go over some of the features, but I may be a little bit more brief since we just talked about them with the other kit. And so if you'd like to hear me go into slightly more detail, you are more than welcome to rewind, of course. So here is the warranty and insurance card again. If um, you want to register your kit to get that warranty from Diamond Art Club, you absolutely can. And then our toolkit is gonna be really similar to the other one, but um, I had mentioned that there are some variations that can happen with some of the toolkit elements that I'll, well, I'll point out and we'll just kind of see which ones we ended up with. So as far as your pen color, this is the one that came with this particular toolkit, nice royal purple. And then we have uh, the multi-placers again that you can use to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. We have the pink wax again. Don't forget to peel back that thin plastic film to uh, load up your pen more easily, or really at all. <laughs> then there is a tray, again, with the tray stopper you can pop in the end there to help stop your diamonds from sliding out, and your bag of baggies, which you can absolutely store your diamonds in if you'd like. We have this roll of washi tape with this kit, and again, you can see below for a video where I've explained and demoed some of the ways that I like to use washi tape when it comes to my diamond painting. And here is the minder that came with this kit, a little macaron. <laughs> so here are the magnets that are on the back. They are still attached and you can use this to hold back the plastic cover while you're diamond painting. So th those are the toolkit pieces that came with this particular kit. And here is our smaller sticker that, again, I like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a diamond painting. I love having the original artwork and some of the stats right there as well. Um, and some people will go ahead and put it on the side of their box to help organize their stash a little bit better. Or you could find something else crafty to do with it, whatever, whatever works for you. And we still have the same really soft backing on our canvas here. And look at those <laughs> brilliantly gorgeous colors. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is just amazing. That's so incredibly cool. Um, let me help this lay flat. 
And again, like I did with the other one, you can roll it backwards like this, the opposite direction. You're not gonna hurt, hurt the glue or the canvas at all. Um, and you can also peel back the plastic. Ooh, let's not have a mishap there. Peel back the plastic cover. <laughs> don't, get, don't get the glue stuck on itself. Um, that, would be, that would be bad too. Okay, so let me just go through what was included again with this kit. We have our pamphlet with some helpful info in it, including your kit contents, a beginner video, the VIP Facebook group, which by the way, make sure your name matches on Facebook the way that it does on the Diamond Art Club account, like on the website. I'm not sure how that'll work if you're, if the QVC bundle is your first purchase, but you could probably contact their customer support task. Um, here are your step-by-step -step instructions written out for you again, as well as those tips and tricks. There's some good ones here and another discount code for the website for the future and the mobile app QR codes. Here's a look at the larger sticker sheet for this kit. Again, this is Mr. Peacock by Lola Gonzalez, a spot to write your start and end date. And there you get to see a look at this original artwork, which just has like this really cool watercolor kind of vibe to it. Um, I love it and I cannot wait to see how it looks translated into a diamond painting by Diamond Art Club. Uh, they do a nice job with watercolor style artwork actually, so I think it's going to be pretty, pretty epic. Here are those stats again. Round drills, 32.8 by 42.6 centimeters or 13 by 17 inches. As far as the colors in this kit go, we have 47 colors in total, again with pre-cut sticker labels, which is really handy and that DMC color code system in the right hand column. And as far as special drills go in this one, again, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special drill called an AB. We're going to have three AB colors in this kit. And then this one does have a special drill at the end of the list that um, has a letter in front of it. Z indicates a fairy dust diamond. And I will tell you more about those when we're looking at the diamonds in just a bit. But we're going to have one fairy dust color in this kit. I love fairy dust colors. So here's our diamonds, which we will look at more closely after we've taken a, a closer look at the canvas itself. So we have their branding at the top. Do it makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and poked, so fraying should not be an issue. And the back is this really, really soft material. And this tends to lay flat and hold diamonds really well. I like Diamond Art Clips canvases quite a lot. We have the really sticky poured glue that holds drills, they aren't going anywhere, and the clear plastic cover. And then we have a color list at the top left again of all 47 colors, and you'll find that same color list on the bottom right side of the canvas. Then at the bottom left, here's that thumbnail of the original artwork and the size and the name and copyright. This, just like the last kit, is legally licensed from the artist, which means the artist has both given permission for the use of this artwork and is being compensated for it. So I always love um, supporting companies that are doing right by artists, and I love that Diamond Art Club is absolutely one of those companies. Here is a discount code again for future use on the website, and then their socials and a bit of information about their lifetime warranty. Uh, all of the details of the, of the lifetime warranty, I believe, are on the website, and you can always contact customer support if you have a, an issue or a concern. Now, this kit has quite a bit of what I would absolutely call confetti. There are a lot, a lot of color changes going on. This is maybe um, a, a little bit more advanced, I suppose, than the bunny was, but I mean, all diamond painting is just, you know, one symbol, one drill at a time. And there are bits of what I'd call almost line blocking, um, where you can absolutely use a multi-placer to place some of these lines of colors in here. Um, and I just think that all of the color changes in here are gonna make for a spectacular diamond painting. Oh my gosh. And you'll see this with kits that have, uh, are based on more watercolor style artwork, is there's a lot more uh, confetti to help with sort of the softness and the blending of the colors, so. But oh, I love it. I love it. This is gonna look so cool, you guys. I love it. I love the, the I almost said Phoenix. No, it's a peacock. <laughs> um, the peacock's face is just, it's so striking. So striking. Uh, let's do a measurement like we did on the last canvas and see. Okay. All right, we're at almost 43 centimeters. We're listed as 42.6. And then 
We're at almost 33 centimeters. We're listed as 32.8, so true to size as well. Here are the diamonds. Again, here's the sticker that's on here that tells you what kit these go with, just in case this gets separated from the canvas. All right, there's a better look at our color spread a little bit. Lots of greens, of course. And let's take a look. So again, Diamond Art Club does make all of their diamonds in-house. And I do really like how highly faceted and beautiful their round diamonds are. I think they're gonna look so, I just, I can't get over it. I think they're gonna look so good with this artwork in particular. Here's our first special drill for this kit, and this is our fairy dust color now, Z165. And if you take a look, these diamonds have a fine glitter coating on the top that is gonna give them more of a shimmer effect as opposed to the like really bold and striking shine that ABs have. But I love the subtlety of these. Fairy dust drills are just my favorite. So we have this light, it's a yellow green color. And of course, of course, once we're done looking at all of the drills, I will show you where that color is going to be found on the canvas, along with where the other special drill colors will be found too. Ooh, now we get into some blues and purples. Ooh, I almost skipped right past it. Here's our first AB color in this kit, 126. This is a pale lavender AB. And you can see how that coating is so, 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 so sparkly. Again, kind of by comparison, Fairy Dust is like a fine glitter coating brush, and this is more of a, a a thicker kind of, like I said, kind of more brilliant iridescent coating. Just if you wanted to see those side by side. <laughs> Three shades of purple to end off this strand. And then in, we have two more strands. Okay, here's the big one. Big bags of green and brown in this strand in particular. Not shocking to see all these all these big bags of green, given how, look at the green in that canvas. So, so many beautiful shades. And here is our next AB color, 141. We saw this in the last kit. This is one you'll see in a lot of Diamond Art Club's kits. It is, it's a good one, you guys. Love that. And then we have these colors that we have a little bit smaller amounts of, some blues, there's a nice cream. And here is our third AB color, 140, kind of an aqua blue color, a darker, darker aqua blue. Love that AB, gorgeous. Okay, Diamond Art Club, if you were curious, puts their diamonds in these strands roughly in order of weight. I'm guessing it has something to do with their packing process, but anyway. Makes it easier to know which uh, which size containers to reach for if you use <laughs> containers for your kitting up. But there are all of our colors. Let's take a look and find where the special drills are going to go. So um, the white AB is gonna be found in these big white patches down here. That's white AB. We had a big bag of that white AB, so there's gonna be a fair amount of it. The white over here and here is white AB. You know, I'll just go through and I'll point out all the white AB first. Um, the white that's in these areas is white AB, as is the white here. And then this little kind of bit coming off of the peacock and the profile here as well, those are white ABs. These white lines are white ABs. This white line is white ABs. And then these little marks coming off the peacock's eye, the white lines are white ABs. Peacock's little brow here is white ABs. There's some white AB here and right here. And apologies if you hear my neighbor's doggo. There's white ABs here as well as here and a couple up here and here and here and a little bit sprinkled in here. So those are the white ABs. And then we had, let's see, the pale lavender AB color um, is in here, the lightest purple you see in these areas. There's some right here and right here and right here. Some more pale lavender AB down here, as well as here and all through here. And then is there any up here in these spots? A little bit right here. And that's it for the pale lavender AB. And then we have our kind of blue AB and we still have that yellow green fairy dust too. So let's find the blue AB first. Let's see the number two. 
Okay, it's um, it's this color. Yeah, in camera, it's the darkest blue that you're seeing where I'm pointing. It's in some of these spots. It's here. And there's a dot of it here. And then some dots. Of, oh, there, it's sprinkled throughout the, the peacock's head. The, the blue you're seeing kind of sprinkled like confetti in here is blue AB. And there's a couple of blue AB right here by the peacock's mouth <laughs> and here. And I think, oh, I see a little bit up here as well. And then as far as that yellow green fairy dust goes, there's um, some of it, it's the anchor symbol. That's our yellow green fairy dust color. Uh, there's some dots of it down here. It's harder to pick out from further away, which is why I'm bringing it up close to point it out. It's right there. It's in this spot. Um, it is in here. Look at these peacock feathers. And then there's some up here. And then let's see, just to pull back and give you a little bit of context too, um, there's a line of it right here, as well as some dots, some groupings of four and six of it uh, in these spots, as well as in these spots, a spot of it here and some spots of it here. So just gonna give a little bit of extra shimmer to the peacock's feathers in its tail. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing as far as our special drills go. What a breathtaking kit. Uh, this is going to be really, really beautiful. I love the special drills that I am seeing. And this is just a quick recap. This is Mr. Peacock by, uh, Lola Gonzalez. And I love it. I, I mean, talk about a showstopper to even, uh, display in your home as well. All right, so we have this really beautiful Mr. Peacock kit. And then we also today got to take a look at Fairy Bunny um, by Rita Konya. And you guys, these kits are an adorable bundle together. I love that we kind of get a mix of these fun kind of springy vibes. This is perfect for um, the current season that we're in. And so this is the animal themed bundle that's going to be launching tomorrow exclusively with Diamond Art Club um, and QVC. The time for that again to tune in is going to be 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. And I believe, like I said, I think there's a QVC app as well as some other ways that you can try to catch that broadcast and hopefully there will they'll include some information there on how to actually pick up these bundles which diamond art club has heavily hinted will be available at an amazing discount so you guys let me know if you're going to be tuning in like i said there will also be a landscape and a flower themed bundle um that i think are also going to be from their amazon exclusive uh, up, up till this point, Amazon exclusive collection, but they're going to be sold in these bundles. So uh, Diamond Art Club did preview those on their socials. So take a look there if you want to see what those images are. And you can decide if you're going to be doing a little bit of shopping. It's always fun when I see Diamond Art Club doing kind of different things and trying out different partnerships. And so I hope that this, this is a good one for them and maybe pulls in some new diamond painters. Uh, and yeah, so please let me know in the comments below if you're planning to do some shopping tomorrow and uh, thanks so much for watching I hope this was helpful and if nothing else you got to see some really really beautiful and adorable kits unboxed uh, from Diamond Art Club so feel free to subscribe if you want to see more diamond painting content from me I'll be back with some more Diamond Art Club sneak peeks this week of some new releases that are coming so stay tuned for that and I hope you have a really fantastic rest of your day I'll talk to you again soon bye mm -hmm.